Hello gamers and welcome back to Sea of Stars. In this episode we make our way down the moorlands, do a little fishing, and then we spend some time at the local outpost where there's a threat of monsters that turn out not to be exactly what we thought they would be. We also get some freaking kick-ass wind powers, so stoked about that. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Otherwise, let's jump into the game. We're on a journey to uh, get to an island, Wraith Island before the eclipse. So that's what's going down. We're try trying to get to Wraith Island. We finished the Elder Mist Trials, got teleported to this like uh, other mountain in this part of the map, wherever we are, the Moorlands. And that's, that's it. So we've got new enemies to face. We've got new abilities that we can do. Let's get rid of this guy's spell. If you time it correctly, you can actually get two hits with each attack. And what you're seeing above that enemy right now is that uh, if he gets hit with blades twice, it will cancel the spell that he's charging up, which I didn't do. So I've got to got to take him out. Let's see if we can moonerang him down. So press X to deflect. What I love about this game is every single, uh, pretty much every single combat thing that you do has like a special mini game associated with it. Like I'm just trying to time the deflections. cool right and most of the drops from enemies are food there's this really uh interesting kind of like side quest thing you can do kind of dragon age-esque where every time you get to a save point you can just kick it these guys look like merchants but they're assholes fishy merchants all right so valer needs to attack we're gonna attack the one who goes first See, that was the double strike. That was it. We hit it. We hit it. We hit it. It's been hit. All right, so... Zale here has a really good charged up attack as well. His, we actually just charge it. One, two, three. On the fourth, we hit it. Boom. So you can deflect at the exact moment that they hit you, too. All right. Garl is our, uh, our healer. Every time we attack, like just do a standard attack, the enemies drop these little, uh, these little balls that we can suck in and absorb to do extra damage on our next attack. So let's do a Nourish. Garl has this wicked Scar. I like to call him Scarl. There we go. I don't think you get to carry your like magic charge up between combat encounters. Whoa, what was that? Nothing. That was nothing. Or D. You think if we drop down on that little weak spot right there, it breaks? <gasps> can we get some shrooms? Hell yeah. We can use shrooms for uh, for some of our new recipes. That was fantastic. They're not random encounters in this game. Like, you have to encounter enemies on the map in order to start a fight. And what I noticed is they don't seem to respawn. So, like... We can't just grind. We can't just grind away. Kind of too bad. 
I do like the grind. <clears throat> but I understand it's not for the game. It's not for the game. I guess I'll have to be okay with that. Okay, so there's something I'm missing over here. Some climbing spot. Yep. Look at the sprite animations. Uh, some wheat. Don't mind if I do. What's this? Time has made the runes indecipherable. Well. Sometimes you can get the jump on the enemies. Here we go. See that? Eye contact the whole time. Those guys love to attack Valir. What's this? Okay, let's let's go in our menu. Items. Okay, this rainbow conch might interest a collector. We got our cookie jar too. So I wonder if we have to use those items in front of somebody to like initiate whatever conversation is supposed to happen or whatever's supposed to happen. Fucking power belt. Ooh, plus four attack. Hell yeah. Actually, you know what? That should go to Valir, because some of the time, Zale is going to be healing, because he has some healing abilities. Yep. Valir is just all attack all the time. Kind of a badass, that Valir. Resistant to blunt. Good to know. Resistant to normal attacks, I guess. Dude, if you if you mess up that block, ooh, we're still down. Rough. Nourish. Let's see, so Ally recovers 20 HP. Let's use a tomato club. We're gonna sunball all three. Learning the timing of all the attacks is just interesting. All right. There we go. What I'm trying to do is get all those things so we can just kill this guy. Six, not bad.
There it is. I'm going to do a quick test message to make sure that I'm getting the actual chat. Yep, we're just a quiet day. Peppers, please. More indecipherable runes. Kind of sounds like a bunch of excuses to me. Okay, can I sneak up on this guy? Only when he pops out. Ooh, this is not the best. See, we've got the enemies on both sides, so kind of a you know, little pincher situation. Alright, we're gonna moonerang these two. I didn't know we'd be able to get all the enemies like on all three sides. That's kind of cool. Such a delayed attack. Uh, let's... let's attack this dude. What is happening? Wow. You had to jump all the way to the other side for that? Come on, homie. Uh, yep, heals. Kind of required. Oh! Awesome. takes care of one summon no hopefully you get extra xp from that okay so it, it taps three times before we got a block okay garl Attack the one that's not resistant. The fourth tick, guys. Fourth tick. That's the one. These guys are resistant to attack. Still resistant. Wow. Ooh, that's a level up. I love this system of level ups. Freaking love it. Dude, I really wish my mic would be reasonable. All right, there we go. Okay, so we've been going pretty hard into hit points so far. I don't know what's best. I have noticed that we're kind of low on defense, a lot of us anyway. But I'm going to go for a mana point. to our mana attack or magic attack. Let's 
go magic attack. All right, this dude's our healer tank. I think we're going to go HP. More ingredients. Okay, so we came through that little door. Let's climb. We haven't found a safe spot where I can show you guys the actual, uh, sweet, uh, like, interlude campfire scenes, <clears throat> which are really cool. No, nothing. Skulls. It's not a good sign. What, what are we looking at? What is that green thing? Okay. So does somebody live here then? We're seeing all these lamps and skull effigies. I don't know. I guess just these guys. What, are you guys fighting now? You're so buddy-buddy before. Yeah, I got the drop on them. Well, I'll be able to drop one of the guys at least. Bad timing on that one. Locksmith, break a total 50 locks in battle. It's one, two, three, delay lock. Damn, that kicked my ass. Uh, we'll go for this guy. Oh, wait, this is Carl. Could probably have saved the MP for next round. But this one's just so fun. Push, pull. No. We're still so high up. This. Hmm, there's a little little paw print right there. Cute little paw print. Wonder what goes there. Okay. Let's swim around a little bit. What else do we got going on? Okay. Here we go. All right. So this is one of my favorite things. Silencer, what up? Why is it saying first time chat? I guess it is your first time chat, huh? Welcome. Welcome. 
We're playing Sea of Stars. How's your day going? Um, okay, so this is one of my favorite things. When you get to one of these campfire scenes, you can talk to your companions like you can in like Dragon Age and games like Dragon Age. That's my point of reference because that's a game I've played a lot. Um, but yeah, you can talk to your companions, do stuff. You get little little special uh, side conversations. No boats up here. I guess we just have to keep going east. If we're to reach Wraith Island for the eclipse, I guess we'll need a boat or something. Yep, that's that. Okay, I want to use the key item. I want to use the cookie jar on this guy and see if he says anything unique. I want to travel in the ball again. Deer is so good out here. I love this guy. I imagine I'm talking like Zeke from Bob's Burgers. Okay, so let's see if we can use that cookie jar. Nope. Troll Hunter. Good. I was going to say good morning. It's not morning where you are. Hello. How's your day? There we go. Air's so good. And you can use the local, like, nearby save places. So you can save mid conversation. I love it. Let's do some cooking. It's not really a mini game. Okay, wait. So do we have any overlapping stuff? How did we get eggs? I don't remember getting eggs at all. It's Friday night. I'm super drunk. Hell yeah. I'm going to happy hour after stream today, so I'm right there too. Just just a few more hours to go. All right, we'll rest. Ah, oh, yeah. Gotta love weekends. Gotta love weekends. Hmm. Although I've noticed, like I'm old. And I don't drink very often, so if I have, like, two beers, like, I'm good. I'm good to go. Push the crystal. I know that you want to push. It's just a mechanic that I feel that should happen right now. Oh, you know what I bet happens? There's, like, a little platform or something. We're going to figure out a way to move this. It's going to happen. It's happening. Just started adulting and I love weekend drinks. Heck yeah. Wait, so you're doing chores? <laughs> you're doing chores? Oh, rough. Nathan Dog, what up? Oh, we got the jump on that motherfucker. That was awesome. Hands down my favorite attack in the game so far. That did startle me, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, wasn't paying attention for the block. There it is. So those boosted attacks that we got from the Elder Mist are sick as hell. Oh, I thought I got that guy. Ah, what? We got a goat with him. Jazzo Pants Nightmare right here. Okay, hey, we might be able to take care of this. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, let's try. We'll be able to cancel at least one. You guys are going wild with the spooky sounds today. Six days in Fallujah? Uh, probably not, for the same reason I was just talking about. I'm going out to get some happy hour after stream today. Maybe on the late, but to be honest, I'll probably want to play some, uh, some Helldivers if I'm going to do some evening gaming. I also have, like... I finally figured out how to use the... Uh, the clips that you guys have been making so like the exclamation point clip command and you know all the clips that you've been doing i figured out how to 
actually use those and make them vertical format for shorts. So I've got like a lot of those ready to publish. And get those up on the YouTube and on TikTok. Plus the uh, the Helldivers 2 new war bond just started, guys. Like focus, focus up. Yeah, stay on target. All right, so I'm just kind of cruising through the water, seeing if there's anything that I should grab. Wow. Each one of these guys is casting a bomb. Uh, and I am F. So let's. I think we can cancel two of them. Mm, now just one. Just one. We're going to have to do Moonerang. We can cancel this guy, but that's it. He passed. This isn't good. Oh! Yeah, Garl. His name's Garl. Why am I so terrible at that that particular lock? Got the first gun on the war bond. It's very good. Nice. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. We should save up for Mending Light. I haven't even tried that one yet. Let's do a Nourish. Girl! Hey, girl, hey! I finally fucking blocked something. Holy shit. about the bonus damage is like it's good stuff so there's a strategy that I'm missing out on where you do the MP management between battles so you should try to finish up by maxing out your MP again if you can without taking too much damage like you know a little bit of resource management right there but Really got to max out that MP, baby. Garl, the golden retriever friend. Yep. I'm back! I gotta make that sound effect louder on my end so I can actually hear it. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, did you guys see my sad cereal this morning? Ran out of milk. Like the second I was not in my early 20s anymore, I was like, oh, I need to pay rent. <laughs> like all the other things. And rent was hella cheap back then, too. I'm fucking good at that. <clears throat> Why, thank you. 
Why, thank you. I mean, oh, I gotta start using this. Yeah, baby, I know it. Yeah, Bender speaks for me now. Look, someone's over there! That scene means they're important. Oh, I guess we can uh, read some of these indecipherable runes here coming up soon. We should ask for directions. She looks busy. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Hello! <laughs> that is so jarring. Garl lost an eye, yo. Garl lost an eye on the first adventure we went on. This guy is a badass. Main character of the story. In my opinion. <clears throat> yes, come look at this. Oh, I hate myself. It's... This looks like I'm gonna give this scholar the valley girl accent. <laughs> nah, it must be my imagination. Oh Jesus. <clears throat> so what are those? Uh, fascinating is what they are. <laughs> These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Probably have to stop. I just, I can't. <laughs> Who's this? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least what's left of them. No way! <laughs> You're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you. My name is Garl. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Tix. You gotta do it. So, are your friends always this quiet? Nah, Valir and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Huh? Magic hair. Enchanted cloth pieces. For the VOD. <laughs> Your solstice warriors. We, uh, I knew it. It's more like Lumpy Space Princess, honestly. I think that's like the closest, the closest I could get. Fearsome in battle, adventurous spirits fated to un unravel mysteries unknown and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends. I mean, oh, someone's excited. It's like giving period. Oh my God, no. I don't understand. Is that a reference? What's giving period? <laughs> we thought Gar was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us and I think it's worth hearing her out. It's starting to mix them up. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Hmm? Why don't you meet with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, uh, well, don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. Say that in Valley Girl accent. Oh my God, that's like giving period. <laughs> It's old. I don't get it. It's true. Nate speaks truth. Okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. I'm an elder millennial. I know nothing. Like, I kind of get things, but not, not really. Thanks again for the food, girl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us anytime. 
So you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore grimoires were burned. The what now? Lore grimoires. Every traveling historian has one. Or had one, I suppose. <laughs> They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa! A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but... If you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. Oh. That doesn't make sense, but I mean, cool. I'm kind of a boomer myself, maybe the youngest boomer. As an Indian, I'm not caught up with all the American slangs get you caught up that's why nate's around he keeps me caught up with the the slang hey buddy dude my dog is so fucking rude he just comes in here and he brushes up against my legs like sniffing around but he's not here to hang out he's just here to try to get any food that i dropped on the floor and then he's gone before i can even react he took off because he's a dick you hear me, Paragon? Love you, buddy. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Door time by the campfire? Sign me up. Great. Just bring any artifacts you find, and we'll see how my lore grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's a spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They thought they were thought extinct. What's the story about? Millennial, indeed. A ghost, pi a ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Oh! I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Hey, want to hear a story? <laughs> yes. The Vespertine. the atmosphere of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment you are as dreadful as the curse of the vespertine and confirm paragon is legend indeed this story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas stormcaller was the name of their captain he was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known and their navigator hortense remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, <laughs> why did we have to do the Valley Girl accent for the person who had like tells stories, who like tells serious stories? This is the most ironic, crazy shit that I kind of love. <laughs> I wanted to be with him, but he's so old, my parents convinced me to let him stay at home. Well, that's really cool of your parents. Yeah, it's hard. It is hard taking care of older animals. This guy's getting up in years. He's got a lot of white hairs where he didn't used to. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. 
Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out o her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First, they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day, after sunset, the parents, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place, until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it, she gets a short break once a day, for but a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Okay. I think we're getting actual story nuggets here. Who's just casually doing push-ups over there? Like, he does not care at all. Yeah, that's Zale. He had really shitty push-up form when he first started at the Academy, and I think a lot of people made fun of him. I did. And now it's kind of his thing. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. Bye, buddy. They call it the Vespertane. I mean, they should. It's the name of the ship, right? Kind of makes sense to me. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the Sea of Nightmare. The end. Uh, no. I don't want to hear a story. Story time by the campfire. Sign me up. I didn't even know traveling historians were a thing. I wonder how many of them there used to be. Uh, no save spot. Let's do a little cooking. Sixty HP. That's a really good sandwich. Delight. Casually ignoring all the lore to avoid spoilers. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. It's all lore. The whole thing is lore. All right, we're going to rest up. Oh, dang. Okay. Well, I thought she would join the party. Kind of a bummer. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Hmm? Huh? Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Oh, Teek joins the cargo. Oh, so we just kind of have Teeks around. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So Teeks just kind of like joined the party, but not as a combatant. Ah! Geeks giving important story lore. Yeah. Zale. Gotta get hella swole. 100%. Yeah. Zale needs a swole valley bro voice. Can you even count your macros, macros, bra? He's like, I skip leg day every fucking day. Every day is push up day, all right? I'm serious about the thing I'm serious about, and I'm only serious about the things I want to be serious about, so. Like, that's just me. That's just Zale, okay? Take it or leave it. I'm here to eat a bunch of calories from Garl here and get swole as hell. And that's that's it. Dude, we spent so long in that cutscene that I don't remember where we came from. Fishing Lake Stone Mason Outpost. We actually want to go all the way back to take a look at that uh, indecipherable thingamajig. 
Did we found? Okay, I don't want to leave though. There's more to be explored in this area. Okay, yeah, we did come from this way. That's Swole Valley, bro. What I got. <laughs> it's what I got. I don't know what it was. Listen, brother. Listen, brother, if you don't have any snacks in that pack, like, I don't even want to fucking talk to you, okay? It's not even worth the calories. The energy to talk to you is literally not worth the calories that it's going to take my brain to comprehend what you're saying. Unless you have a fucking snack in your bag, all right? It better be a high-protein snack, too. None of that pretzels shit, you know what I'm saying? How do I get up there? Oh, we jumped off that cliff into the water. And that's how we got down here. Okay. So I don't know that we can get up there again. Whoa, beard on fire bot. Jesus. I'm here to get swollen and drive my dad's Miata. There it is. <laughs> That's Zale. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we still need to bust through that rock? Didn't we bust through that rock already? I think we busted through that rock already. We bussin'. We bussin' left and right. <laughs> Uh, fucking can't today, you guys. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, Spooksville, population, all of us. Alright, alright, alright. So... Okay, can I go all the way up and around to get back down to that area we just passed? Huh, missed some taters. Wasn't worth it. Okay, well. I don't think there's much else to be explored. Okay, I, we should test out fishing though, for real. We should test out fishing because I read the little uh, like fishing blurb in the how to play this game book that they apparently give you. Like an average Andrew Tate fanboy. <laughs> think of the guy who idolizes gym rat culture and feels the need to make that his entire personality and the point of every conversation. Yeah. Oh, average. No, because then they'd have to be smoking cigars and talking about how much they hate women. Or the women are inferior, but also say that they love women at the same time. Right? Isn't that it? Lunar Trout. Okay, so if we're in this little, like, bubble pool, then we can reel it in. Okay, yeah, we got this now. They're all the same. Yeah. So you just can't reel. You can't reel while it's outside of the uh, the bubbles. Boom. Bubbles. Good. Yeah. 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 Yup. Winning. Winning. Pull harder. Come on. Come on. That's right. Grass Haddock. Is that it? Is that all we got for fish here? 
come on, come on. Get back in the stream. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Over the right, over the left. Come on. Woo. Uh. What's up, little guy? Yeah! Look at it jumping. Come on. Woo! All right, we shouldn't empty the whole fishing hole, guys. We gotta leave some for everybody else. <laughs> Pick a side. Hmm. Hey, we can grind, y'all. We can grind some XP. These guys are resistant to all physical attacks, but vulnerable to uh, this this particular flavor of ass whooping. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's where we got eggs. Ew. I was thinking we were eating chicken eggs, but we're eating like giant cockroach eggs. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I don't like this this battle right here. Well, let's just uh, freaking. Attack him, I guess. Okay, this is the test, guys. One, two, three, pause, boom, block. Nope, almost. Longer pause. One, two, three, pause. Yeah! One, two, three, pause. Got it. vulnerable to this flavor of ass whooping. Damn right. Uh, yeah, it's Moonerang, all you fools. I like how Zale, like, gets in a position to watch. He's like, yeah! Very supportive teammate right there. Turning his back to the enemy. Supportive, not necessarily, like, Right? Ultra power! Yeah, get it. Wait, how do we get up there? We get this chest. There it is. Mushroom soup recipe. Dude, I didn't even notice that chest there the whole time, guys. You gotta help me out here. You gotta say something. Nobody, nobody fucks with the power goat. Except for me. Uh, 
All right, well, at least we can stop this one. At least we could have stopped that one if we got good. Who needs it the most? Zale, it's you. Here we go, let's get wrecked. Pretty sure the goat attacks Valir every time. Pretty sure. Fourth tick is the way to go. Yep, blocked. We got nine HP. We'll go for you. Those guys hit like a dump truck. Nurse yourself. Precious girl. Yeah, we need to do some attacking. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We did say something, you just weren't listening. Don't gaslight me, Nate. Something. Getting trolled by my chat over here. Oh, ad break. Ad break happening. Uh, sick. Okay, nice. So we got a historian. Tell me about this uh, giant... Butthole. No? Not a word? Can I like... <laughs> I love how we just have a cargo section. <laughs> Look at that. It's the cargo back there, you know? Don't worry about it. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. Yas Queen! Um... Is that as far back as I can go? Not quite. I think we can get a little further. We can get a little further. That's right. It's down here. Ooh, yeah, let's take these guys out. Possible. Not gonna lie, the timing of that really, really messes me up. Tell me about this giant butthole. Which they say, are you just pointing at your own butt? Uh. Okay, how about this one? Uh, indecipherable to anybody but a master Valley Girl historian. Thank you very much. Well, let's go ahead and cook what we got. Just kidding. We have nothing to cook. And we'll rest. Tell me about my giant butthole. Indeed. True. I mean, you don't have to claim ownership. Conversation is going off the rails, all right? It's going off the rails in my head already. 
And that just means it's going to go off the rails in real life very soon. All right. So we saved it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next area. A tingling of ancient magic can be felt as if it had all but completely faded away over time. Pop out, pop out. Ha! Now it didn't work. Okay, so we, as usual, want to take down this ant. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. Oh, that's right. Every successful defense I got, I increase MP by one. That's sick. AoE. Fourteen exactly. Master Valley Girl Historian, however, told you the story about the 2012 kale juice, kale juicing craze. <laughs> All right. This is so cool. Okay. What did that do? Oh, I can kind of keep both of them charged up. Almost, maybe. I don't even, I don't know if that's a thing. Okay, this is clearly something, though. Womp. Oh. Confused ungabunga noises. Mm. Are these your berries, sir? Mountains are nice. This is the life. The mountains are nice. Man, you're nosy. Here, take this. Would you give me more stuff if I keep annoying you? Sure don't. Pester your way to prosperity. Do it, jump. What? Okay, we learned about this, but I didn't think like we would see it. Pretty, pretty wild giant serpent right there. I'm going back to check out this sun moon puzzle situation. It's cool how uh, Zales all like lit up during the nighttime. Like, is there anything that changes over here? Feel just a tingling of magic there. We can fight these guys again. Pester your way to a bowl of soup. That's how we do it. Ooh. 
love this game mechanic. I know I've said that a thousand times. I'm going to say it a thousand more. I'm going to say it every single fucking time I do this. I love this. So much fun. Chat, do you guys see anything different this time around? I haven't noticed a single difference yet. Oh, we're both out of MP. Okay. Let's... Okay. We're actually going to time it. There it is. We stopped one bomb combo. We'll just focus fire. Got it. A little nourishment. All right, so three attacks for each of them. You're going down. They both still have 52 HP? These guys make such wild jumps when they attack. Okay. All right. Here it is. 34? That was a hit. Dude, I'll probably keep this relic that gets you 1 MP every time you successfully block an attack just forever. It's so good. Alright, maybe we should... Bump up our MP a little bit. We got a mushroom scramble. Delish. All right, yeah, catch you later, Nate. Ooh, that felt good. Okay. I don't know who technically does more damage between the fish merchant and the uh, the goat. I also don't know if this will count for two sun blasts or just one. We'll find out. Just one. All right. Well, that's that. Team left. Let's do a power attack. All right, we're going for MP now. Nope, nothing changed here either. Okay.
Ooh, that was a hit. Yeah, you heal yourself. You nourish yourself. <clears throat> Almost. You can almost get a combo. Not quite, though. May as well cancel this spell. Because I don't know if we're going to get 18 if we just did a normal attack right there. I don't know how I like lost the timing on that, but I absolutely did. Here we go. Battle over. Mushroom soup. Sick. Plus 40 HP for the whole party. I'm glad I annoyed that guy. My boys glow red. It's him just because he's a... Uh, summertime solstice warrior. I don't know. Valir kind of glows blue. Like a little blue hint. Garl's just being Garl. Okay, so we rested, we made it daytime again. If we rest during the day, does it make it night? Alright, whatever this puzzle is, it must be like, we don't have to walk across the entire map to figure it out. I just really thought it was going to be butthole related. You know, it makes sense to me. So is this more of a dusk situation? This is like a dawn situation right here. happened right there oh I never mind I thought I stepped on something and it made this flash but it wasn't me it was just time you know you know it just it just ends up that way I feel like I feel like it's not me I feel like it's what the games are giving me The life. If I ever glow in the dark, it must be dark blue. Mm -hmm. Got some of that moon power, huh?
All right, we're out of here. I don't understand what was going on there. <clears throat> It's just like a blocked path. Okay. Stonemason's outpost. A bunch of mole people. The elder hasn't returned. Malkabud. Malka mud? Mal Malka mud? Malka mud? Malka mud. Malka mud will kill us all. Run! <coughs> More like depression power. Oh. Boo. That sucks. Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well. Of course! They're Solstice Warriors! Girl! It's true, no? We should help if we can. What's the matter? It's Malcolma, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mine's wind tunnels. It's our job it is to keep them unobstructed so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. <gasps> but now Malcolma has taken over the mines, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it'll be the end of the world. What's more, he clogged the tunnel powering the Great Elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to Brisk to ask for help. If this continues, Malcolm Mud's minions will start pouring out of the mines and... and... It's okay, we're here to help. What happened next? The, the Elder went in to try to stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there at the top of the outpost, but Malcolmud is very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your elder. One evil wizard going down! Head to bed before I pass out right on. <laughs> yeah, good night, let's see, see ya! Bye! Oh, what luck! Thank you! Everyone, stop panicking! Ooh, that was well-timed with the music. Solstice Warriors are here to solve everything. <laughs> Garl. The Elder will return. Malcolm Mud won't kill us all. Yay! I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. The elder went in, the elevator hasn't returned. I suppose one day would have to just. I suppose one would have to just jump in. Okay. So we gotta jump down a big hole. Cool. I can't sleep since Malcolm Mud took over the mines. I fear his minions might attack the town at any moment. Why is everyone angry at Malcolm Mud? I don't get it. Oh, it's a kid. Okay. That's a kid. This whole Malcolmud business is so annoying. I just want to get back to work. Welcome to the Sleepy Mason. Would you like to rest in our geothermal room? Yeah. Yeah. Fighting an evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. I hope we can help the Molkins. They seem so peaceful. Seem panicky to me. Okay, I don't... We did get extra ingredients. Okay. All right, what do we do? We got a uh, plus eight MP for ally... Don't have enough for mushroom soup. Let's not cook anything just in case we can buy ingredients here. We'll rest. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. We've got 
this wind thing. Okay, so that's probably going to be the elevator that takes us down. Let's not take that yet. Let's go explore some homes. Oh, the irony. What's the matter? I need my tools to fix this busted door, but they're in the back room and I can't get through. The lever on the other side seems to work fine, though. If only there was another way to enter. I'll try to find another entrance. Mm-hmm. I thank you. Um... Seems like you're just not trying, Valir. For being honest here. Alright, there's gonna be a hole up above or something like that. When I grow up, I want to work in the ground like my parents. Everyone was running around just a moment ago. Grown-ups are weird. We are. Okay, let's just, let's knock this out. We're not going to ADHD our way through this one. All right, focus. Focus. Oh, shrooms. See? This is why we waited. This is why we waited to cook. Yeah, let's uh, rob him while we're back here. Hey, good job, kid. Were my chests okay? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. The game called me out. Thanks for the help. Are you really Solstice Warriors? That's so cool. Mom says we can't go out, but it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside with everything going on. It's too dangerous. There's some other kids playing outside, and they seem fine. Is this the merchant music? It's pretty good. All right, let's sell our shiny pearls and such. Look at all that money. Oh, shit. How long ago did I pick this up? I had no idea. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can sell two of these. Yes. Right. Two. Ha, ha, ha. All right, what do you got? Got a miner's smock that... Wow, that is such a huge bump. Wow. From 16 to 29 and 16 to 23. That's a bump of 4 and 2. Same there. Here's KO plus 50% HP. I think we have, I think we had one of those. I guess not. Ensure double hits on regular attacks. No. Negates enemy defense bonus while casting. Decreases damage taken. No, all those seem kind of like, uh, like they'd be fun on your next playthrough, I guess, but for this playthrough, nah, we're sticking with it. Okay, so we're gonna buy this. Nope, we can sell that. This pop-up, this one thing right here, Sell previously equipped weapon. Huge. And they gave you the option to keep it if you're a pack rat. 
Pack rats of the world rejoice. The rest of us can be like, all right, awesome. My inventory is no longer hugely clogged. Okay, so I could do potato, eggs, dairy, and meat. I'm pretty good on all those. I guess I could get some more meat. Balcony time. Nothing good up there. That's fine. What's this? Catchy little tunes. This device looks like a pump of sorts. Okay. Let's get pumping. Let's make like a nursing mother and get pumping. Oh, uh, today is weird. So much to learn here. You dives into the horizon. Gee, is this the first named villager we've come across? The water mill stopped functioning after Malcolm had clogged the wind tunnels. There's no more water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Will you go in the mines to help? All right, yeah, we talked to you. I think we have one more building to check out. Nope, more than one. Even with all the panic going on, my brother won't come out of his studio. All he does is paint all day long. Good for him. Darrow, this will be my best work ever. Oh, another crystal. Some, at some point, we are going to get the ability to move these crystals around. Push-pull mechanic is coming. You heard it here first. First, first, first. If the tunnels keep getting clogged, the wind will stop playing the melody through the mountain. If the sleeper wakes up, we are doomed. Found an ancient Molkin cloak. Oh, that must be a relic for us to show uh, Teal. Be careful in the mines. Apparently someone spotted a monstrous salamander. Moles and salamanders. Ancient enemies. Wait, if this is the mines, what what is the other elevator down here? We need to check out fucking every little thing, by the way. We're not... No stone left unturned. We will... Okay. We will waste as much time as possible. Checking out the things that we know probably aren't a thing, and the off chance that they are. And 1% of the time... We'll be right. That's all I need. One fucking percent. That's it. Whoa, I'm a... The Elder. I... I am. And you are? Solstice Warriors. We're here to confront Malcomud. My, how wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Not much, I'm afraid. 
I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all this panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going in to fix the problem. But now I am stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a solution. Don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful out there. Malcolmud is one mighty wizard. Miner's break room. Oh, so we got some miners left in here. Hey there, need something for the road? Do you have anything different than our other homie upstairs? You do not. We'll do a little cooking. Or not. The lunchbox is the lunchbox is already full. I have ten items. Okay. I thought I was running low on ingredients. No 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 no. This is awesome. We got a spa day and then a full campfire cookout. Not bad. Security rules reminder, no jumping down. And we'll see about that. Oh, we're about to get it. We're about to get our push and pull ability. It's coming. Jimmy Dance. Gotcha. Bat drills. Those are actually pretty cool. Not my best one. Okay, let's do a hurl. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I got the first one. I got pretty uh pretty cocky after that. Me a little bone too. Hmm. Wonder how we get over there. That's how. Climb for shrooms. I guess we could, I mean, eat a little. It doesn't hurt. Found a green leaf. Max HP plus 15. Forgot about that. Yep. Need that. Yo, the mushrooms in this cave. Real good. We did go that way. So I wasn't sure if we had made it down to that little middle uh, 
platform or not. Here we freaking go. Here we freaking go. Let's go. Nope. I get the jump on you. You hear? He didn't hear. He didn't hear it. He didn't hear it at all. Okay, so... Store standard attack here. Okay, then Valir can take the magic. <clears throat> now she's got a moon ability too. Why, why I attacked the wrong guy? Why did I do that? Why? All right, well, I guess let's see what this dude's spell is. Stalag bite? Uh, that's amazing. That's such a good name. Fucking Garl Smash. Am I, am I blocking too early with that one? Is that what's going on? Fully worth it. Okay, so we came through there. We have not found a single hidden path yet. It's because I only... Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Dude, what a nice touch. Found three dairies. Okay. I'm just going to venture to say we're not ready for this one yet. You want me to have some kind of uh, relic? Okay, that, that just saved. <clears throat> we have an auto save. That means we're probably getting into a fight. Let's check everything else out. Teal Amber Ore. That's it. Okay, well, I guess we go through the uh, autosave room then. Oh, is that a little boss face peeking out? A lot of side eye. Okay. Let's take Zale. Let's attack this one. Got it. Done. We're going to crest mark. <clears throat> Hit all of them. Ooh, triple blocked. Uh, Garl's gonna throw out a nourish. And we'll just we'll just eat the spell. It is what it is. Ooh. Oh, there's no way that's happening.
That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna Sunball. <clears throat> And then we'll combo with the Solstice Strike. Covers 50 HP. That seems good right now. Solid. Blocked. There we go. Battle done. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Yeah, I think we should keep hitting physical attack. And just like really focus on getting attack way up. Her defense is pretty abysmal. Physical attack is so high. Garl is a badass. Magic attack is really high too. So I wonder if the heal is based on magic attack. I'm, I'm guessing it is. So yeah, we'll put a point in that. No control. Something just powered up. No, oh, you brought power back. I suppose I'll be going then. The mines continue below. Please stop, Malkamud. There's another block with a paw print on it. Jimmy on back to where we were then. Once we get over here, we're going to find some other tunnel that exits into the tunnel we were just at. I don't know if that made sense. Doesn't matter. Uh, what the fuck is going on in this room now? Yeah. Nope. Hashtag no fall damage. I love that in the game. Okay, we need a key item. We're gonna get a key item down here somewhere. Okay, that just took us in a circle. Hmm. There's something I'm missing. Oh. That was it. Oh, please give me my new ability. I, I want it. I want it.
Yep, Crescent Arc coming on. The lag bite. I forgot what this is. Oh, yeah. Blocked. Resisted? That wasn't cool. Let's get Garl some more energy. 3,700 XP till next level. That's a lot. I want to save this mushroom soup for like mid fight. We can cook some more. We have plenty of room to make some more meals. Some delights. Crispy fucking delight. You know what I'm saying, chat? Crispy fucking delight. More like mushroom soup, so kind of like a warm, globby delight. Okay. Gotta check for secrets. What was that? Oh. No going back now. Haters. Give me the ability already, guys. They've been teasing me for so long. I'm edged. Mushroom soups. Gotta get that AoE heal on, you know? Let's see, what else we got? Uh, herbed filet. It's plus 50 HP. Cool, we got. We can make plenty of those. Uh, Charge rice plus 8 MP. Fairy jam is plus 5. Basic salad. Mushroom scrambles. Yeah, mushrooms are like... I think the devs had a mushroom thing. Witness the power of the mushroom. Delicious chaudre. Which I know I'm not pronouncing right, and that's fine. That's fine. Alright, cool. 10 out of 10. I should have done a campfire uh, scene. Not too late. Oh, that's right. Teal only hangs out by the campfires outside. Find an evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. Malcolm Bud's clocking the mine's wind tunnels. We have to do something before the sleeper wakes up. Hope we can help the Molkins. They seem so peaceful. Malcolm Bud the wizard. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Press square to release bursts of wind that can push blocks. Oh, we finally got there. I got there anyway. What? 
was that noise? Something's coming. Hey, the giant salamanders. It's so cute, though. Is this a boss fight? I don't want to boss fight you, dude. Dang. All right, yeah, we got... We got enough. Boom. Oh, did you think you were going to cast a spell, my friend? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Vulnerable. Let's save his attack. Let's go Zale first. Yeah, may as well combo. Ah, let's save the combo in case he decides to get a spell going. Woof. All right, that wasn't the worst. Okay. You are going to do a Moonerang, and then we'll do a combo attack with Zayo. Look at its attack animation. We are clearly the fucking baddies right here. Team Salamander. He's so jacked up. Why, do, why are we being friends with the Salamander, guys? Hi, buddy. I doubt it's the last we'll see of that one. <laughs> Let's be on our guard. Okay. Go up there, go to the right, go down and left. And push it, and push it. I thought I had to jump on that while it was raising. I was like, timing, let's go. Okay, I'm beyond satisfied now. I, We can finally unlock all these things. Got the mines key. Is there anything else up top? I don't think so, but we're going to double check. Yep, that was a no. We just wanted to practice parkour some more. Parkour warriors! Ha 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 ha! all these berries. Did, did you see that? Did you see what I just saw? Some of these eggy cockroaches over here trying to munch on our vegetables? I don't think so, eggy cockroach. go with Garl. We're gonna chuck this dude. Yeah, get hurled, nerd. Okay. Maybe leave Garl alone for like a hot second.
missed it. I think it's the first time I've ever missed the bonus on that attack. Establish vegetable fucking dominance, chat. We are vegetable dominant this place. Our veggies, our rules. Well, I can't climb up on that? Sad. Did we get any view of the wind serpent down there? No. No. We've got another uh, little cave worm. All right, well, that's going to use a whole attack if I hurl this guy. All right, so we'll, we won't worry about hurling this guy. What we'll do instead is we'll let the top guy do his uh, magic. We won't break the lock. We'll break this lock. And then for Zaley has uh, nothing. Okay, that's okay. So we're going to get this. We're going to attack uh, the Bush True. The lag bite. Got it. All right, and then we're going to Moonerang the Bush True as well. And that should stop their spell, at least. So we broke two. Timing is tough with all these enemies. That's a tough one. Hold up. You're going to turn around and do another spell in one turn? What a turn. We are going to hurl this dude back into the group. Locked. All right, we're going to do a mushroom. Soup. There we go. I thought we couldn't didn't have soup for a second. I was like, oh, God, we're boned. Locked. Triple blocked. Hopefully this does it. Two thirty XP. That's pretty good. We had an ad break this whole time. Sorry. Normally I like to give you guys a heads up, but now that I actually have all of my uh, reward points and everything working. Now that we have that, we can finally get some nice uh, like overlays letting us know when the ad breaks are happening. Letting you know, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't see this chest. Sneaky, second rainbow conch. Okay, so we need to start that wind piece as well. Wind chime, wind uh, thing. Oh yes. How far away can I do this from? 
further than I thought. Go, go. I love the wavy animation when you see the character bottles through the uh, the crystal. Very cool. Choose. Okay, can't jump up there just, just yet. exactly sure how to sneak up on these ones. He doesn't attack with solar though, right? Or does he? Also, I hit the wrong one anyway. Oh, he's down. Forty out of forty one, that was close. Base tank it all the way. Um, I'll spin a turn on that. soup. Do a roast sandwich for our old buddy girl. Okay, so that's how we get back down there. Boop. Thought I could get him. Wow. Okay. Three spells, huh? Cool. So if we start with Valer, and we do one of these, we might be able to actually kill both of the cockroaches, and we might be able to knock the spell off of this dude. We'll see. then. drop. Blocked. Third. 
30. Dude, big damage on Garl. Damn. All right, sweet. Saving. All right, doors open. We should be able to get back upstairs here soon so that we can use that key. And there it is. Called it. Play with all the things. Okay, so we're gonna get this one to stack up right there. I didn't see that second part happening, but here we are. Okay, we do it again. Okay, so my, my aim is actually to get the thing right here. There we go. the long way. You broke into my fort! Are you Malcolmood? Why did you hurt my pet? Not fair. Rocky can't know that you're just playing if I'm not with her. What is going on? Playing? You're terrorizing the town! It's just a play, but no one else is strong enough. No one ever understands! Did no one teach you about your powers? Magic is... <laughs> Magic is not a toy, Malcolm Wood. So you have come to berate me too? I got nothing to tell you! You hurt Rocky! Get out of my fort! So this is just a kid. This is just a kid. The evil wizard Malcolm is, is a kid. So we should probably stop him from casting spells, is what I'm thinking. Alright, uh, and we won't be able to stop any of these. Now we can do this. That's one. Train me for that one. The bat, the bat screws. <laughs> Train me for that. All right, dude, let's go ahead and mushroom soup it up. I didn't think we'd be doing the boss, boss fight right now, or I would have prepared a little better. Oh, 
he is vulnerable to regular attacks. Whoa, that was actually a cool attack. That was lucky. Here it comes. Wow, okay, so he's resistant to magic, but weak against attacks. Good to know. Take in some power with Garl. Vulnerable. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. There's nothing I can do about this one. Hopefully they don't knock out Valir. That's all I gotta say. Geobress. Holy shit. What did I just say? Uh, okay. Let's do... I'm gonna look up how to pronounce this word. Papalote! Oh. Wow. Malco Mount. Okay, resistant to regular attacks. Heal up and get some MP back. We're gonna rock him this next round. Locked. Let's get a little nourishment on yourself. Or that sweet spot. Okay, so Moon Ring, we can knock out a bunch. doing a lot of damage. Okay, for totally forgot the timing. Timing gone. Chin. Alright, girl. Oof, that is a bad combo. Actually, that's not so bad. Okay, let's do this. Just kidding. Woof. 
We'll sunball and then we'll combo with the uh, Valir. Hell yeah, okay. I just noticed that the portraits get grayed out at the bottom left of the screen. Just now. Took a while. You are very strong. Did people berate you too when you were kids? Is this why you left your village? Listen, Malcolm Hood, you just happen to be born with special powers, and it's a shame no one was able to guide you through that. Guide? Guide me? Everyone just makes fun because I'm not the same. They say, Malcolm Hood can't dig. Well, have you given it a try? He's too boring. I cannot do it like everyone else. Everyone likes it, but not me. Everything was made only for others. When I try, they say, Malcolm Hood is not good. So I give up and then they say, Malcolm Hood is lazy. I really try, but I don't understand. So I make a fort and show them. Aw. It's okay, Malcolm Hood. You don't have to like everyone else. Carl is right. Normal doesn't have to be your thing. You do you. Huh. You're pretty good with earth magic, aren't you? Yes, I love doing magic with earth and rocks. But everyone says I must not do it. They just don't understand yet. I'm sure you could really help them if you want it. Mm. Don't you want to try and do good instead? They will only make fun because I am bad with digging. Nah, they just need to see what you can really do. I don't want to show. It's okay, buddy. Take the time you need. Mm. I can stay in the fort. Well, it's yours, isn't it? Right, guys? Totally. Yeah, plus your fort is pretty cool. I like you. Well then, can you do us a favor and agree to stop creating monsters? Rocky is not a monster. Of course not, look at her. You understand. Mm, okay, maybe I will do good if something big need my magic. But for now, I will stay here with Rocky. Thank you, I like you. Take care, Malcolm Hood. Not bad, Carl. Pat, sometimes you just need a little positivity. Look at us. Pouring peace to us. <laughs> Look at us. Restoring peace to a small town. Still no closer to finding a ship, though. Wraith Island. Let's check on the villagers. Surely if... Surely we can use the lift now. Is everything on track with the preparations? We will be ready for the eclipse. Ready and excited, too. I fear the sidekick's hesitance might fester. We should get a final confirmation. I will go myself. Three, make sure everything goes smoothly in my absence. Three has not spoken a word. Three's the big bad. Big bad three. The stonemason's outpost. The solstice warriors have returned. Has the threat been contained? Malcolm had agreed. <laughs> Malcolm had agreed to stop clogging the wind tunnels. We are safe. Hooray! You should have mentioned your role in this. I... Uh, apologies, brave monk. We struggle indeed to give proper bearings to one of his talent. Well, you ought to be... You all better be more respectful in the future. We're not be, we might not be here to save you if this happens again. 
Understood. You have our word and our thanks. Is there anything we can do to repay you? We're looking for a crew of adventurers who might help us sail to another island. No, oh, in that case, you'll want to visit the port town of Brisk. Feel free to use the big lift to the south. You're the ones who fixed it, after all. A port town. Surely we can find a ship there. It's got all sorts of people. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Oh, I can't wait! There might even be a tavern. Let's try that lift. Quick, gather the cargo. So the salamander was Malcolm's pet? What do you mean it just wanted to play? Thank you so much for helping with Malcolm. We definitely, we will definitely watch our tongues in the future. So it turns out the townspeople were just dicks. Big burrowing dicks. Oh, where's that drop spot? Can I drop in here? Can I drop into the fireplace? This is my favorite spot where to play. I like it because the view is pretty. It is indeed, kid. Ah, I missed this. Oh, that's right. Shabam! Take a treasure. Not another rainbow conch. I will show the world that us Molkins can do more than teal amber carving. Just wait. My best work so far, but I must keep improving. Respect? Honestly, nothing but respect for that guy. Pop, 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 pop. This is the best fort we've built so far. I really like it. Look, I made a fort like Malcolm would. Hope you're enjoying your time in our little outpost. Make sure you sleep at the inn if you haven't. Geothermal rooms are something else. Indeed. All right, so we did that room. Is it true you thought Malcolm's pet was a monster? Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, your mom could have told us that. Nice little heads up would have been nice. Things are finally back to normal. I'm just glad my kids are safe. Yeah, me too. Well, thank you again for helping with Malcolm Hood. I promise we will do better from now on. If you want to go to Brisk, you can use the big flying lift at the south of the village. Oh, thank you. I can finally get some sleep. That's right, the merchant. Okay, here's where we wanted to go. Uh, this guy was not here before. Must activate mill. Fell asleep while two feet away. Same message. Hey, you did it! Thanks, I really needed that. Here, for your troubles. Another rainbow conch. We're gonna find a collector for these conches sometime. My brother finally finished a painting. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's awesome. It's good to be back in business. Servicing the wind tunnels is demanding, but teal amber is very valuable. Malcolm took hide and seek a little too seriously, if you ask me. Yeah, definitely. Oh, he found a new artifact. Let's see here.
New story unlocked. The Great Summoning. Hey, want to hear a story? I'm losing, losing, losing the voice. I'm losing it. We got to get recentered. Recenter. What few people know today is that Kanusnuku had already been banished by the time the Great Summoning happened. Kanusnuku. The channeling had begun months prior, back when the lizard folk still had the upper hand. It was toward the end of the decades-long battle after it became clear that the Molkin mages would be the victors. On this night of nights, the air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly, the very sky tore open and a giant sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day, historians argue about the, his the origins of the sky serpent. Some say it's a monster of pure evil, stolen from another plane of existence, and forced to remain here. Others believe it came from above the clouds, a once friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by dark magic. But regardless of its origins, the sky serpent was set to change the world forever. Back in the time of the Ovates, the ritual of the elements could have been performed to, the con to control the sky serpent's mind. But alas, the Ovates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at hand, the Molkan elementalists devised a plan to contain the threat. By carving intricate wind tunnels straight into Extol's mountain, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Blowing through the mountain, the wind started playing a melody so pure, it focused the sky serpent into slumber. The magic was strong, and it was believed that the world would remain safe for generations. Or rather, for as long as the mountain played the melody true. For the greater good, the Molkin gave up on their study of magic and established an outpost atop the mountain. Over generations, they became expert miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Molkin have told around the clock ever since, protecting the world one pickaxe strike at a time. <laughs> Despite centuries of stability, stories say that the magic enchantment on the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the Ovates will return before then. The end. Nice. Totally lost that voice. It turned into uh, like a weird Keanu. <laughs> it's not fair how people have been treating Malcolmud. Good thing we fixed the big lift and the moleskin. The mole moleskin. Oh, awkward. <laughs> oh. Molkin outpost. Can't wait to see Brisk. This live mana thing is unreal. I want to boost all the time. You're addicted, dude. I'm glad we could help. With the big lift operational, we can get to Brisk now. If we're to reach Wraith Island for the Eclipse, I guess we'll need a boat or something. Glad we could help. All right. We'll cook a little. We used quite a few mushroom soups. Not enough uh, mushrooms for scramble. Crazy that uh, we had so many mushrooms in the tunnels, but they don't sell mushrooms here at all. Wait, does this one take two wheat? The roast sandwich takes two wheat, but the herb filet takes one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, gamers, I'm going to call it there. Uh, we made a lot of progress today. We came down from the mountain and went to this town and liberated it and talked to Malcolmud. And Malcolmud was uh, kind of cool. I like Malcolmud. I like his big salamander friend whose name I already forgot. Rocky. Just kidding. I remember. Well, gamers, if you want to join the community and uh, join the lovely people here in chat, 
please do so. Twitch.tv slash Beard on Fire. And you'll also see a link down in the description below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And we'll see you next time.